All right, so I'm gonna get started here and we're gonna do a winch plate and winch. I've got my parts laid out. Uh, I did go with the worn winch plate on this that's designed for the factory steel bumpers. Um, if you watched my video on the Gladiator, on that one I did the Mopar winch plate, which I thought was a pain in the ass to be quite honest. And I went with a Smitty built winch that I really had to push hard into the grill to get everything to, to fit. Um, and I wasn't real thrilled with that. So I decided to go for this with the winch, uh, the worn winch plate, as well as a worn winch for it. So we'll get the winch plate going. Uh, of course, the first step is to take the front bumper off. Um, and I gotta start with this panel, this fascia panel right here. So these two clips need to come off. That will not be reinstalled. Uh, and then I need to take the factory skid plate off. So we'll get going on that. All right, so I got the fascia off and the skid plate. So next thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna go in here and remove the bolts that hold the bumper on. There's two on the outside of the frame rail and two on the inside of the frame rail on each one. It's an 18 millimeter. Um, so we're gonna get that and then I also have to unplug the factory fog light wiring harness from the frame rail. So that can just kind of tuck up in there and be good. And then uh, so it's just those four bolts left and this whole bumper's off. And just like that, the bumper is off. Now what I need to do is remove these two bolts and these two bolts on the skid plate mounting brackets. And where those two bolts are is where the winch plate, let's see, this one. I'll take a look at how it goes, but I think it's yeah, that must be it. So I think it's like that. So one on each side. But I'll take a look at the instructions. We'll get that figured out. So that's the next step. All right, so we got the winch plate brackets in. They're just loose right now. So the next thing is we'll use these carriage bolts to attach the winch plate itself. Alright, so we have the winch plate in place. Everything's just loose and Warren actually has you zip tie the bracket up at the front because um, of course the bumper holds the front of it on. So you zip tie it into place, get everything lined up and we'll drop the winch on. So we got the winch ready to go. Uh, so we're going to get that dropped on, uh, get it bolted in place. Then we can run our line out a little bit and start going back on with the, uh, with the bumper itself. So let's get this winch on.
All right, so we got the winch bolted in place, pulled the line out a little bit so we can feed it through everything. Ran the wires up, we're not connected yet, but I just ran them up so that I'm not fighting them with the bumper. Uh, we're just about ready to put the bumper on, but we need to remove these five bolts to get this plate off. We also need to take the license plate uh, cover off of the front bumper and then we can actually start. There's a couple of brackets that need to go on the bumper. As you can see, this bracket sets out here. It would create a gap on this side, tweak things. So there's a bracket that goes on this side on the bumper on the studs to space it out evenly. And uh, shouldn't be too bad. So uh, come along pretty good. is installed got it all wired up to the battery uh, see I just have the rope out wrapped around the uh, tow hook for right now and no fear leads one bolt missing the bolts that came with it are too long to go through the winch or I'm sorry too short to go through the winch mounting plate the bumper this bracket and the fair lead so I'm gonna have to get longer bolts so I'm gonna go run and do that uh, I gotta cut off the zip ties and put the uh, skid plate back on uh, and then it's done until I get the bolts so uh, pretty soon here it should be all wrapped up all right so I got longer bolts I got the uh, fair lead and everything on I got the winch hoop on and we installed the factor 55 bolter hook